when acting all tough and strong doesn't go to plan and it ends with instant karma and a humbling. Watch as these guys get exactly what they deserve. This dude got humiliated in one of the worst ways possible. Acted all tough and the dude in the blue knew he would hurt him so he opened his car door for him and told him to get in. This is a tough guy right here. <laughs> Get up out of here, bro. Get in your car and go. Quit being on this dumbass. Security trying to save you. Ben trying to save you. Leave. God bless you, man. Get in your car and get up out of here, man. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. Just go ahead and get in the car and make it home safe, man. God love you. Make it home safe, man. For real. Get in the car. Just make it home safe, buddy. Watch as this insane nightclub encounter between many people and the police just goes off, with people getting dropped, pushed, arrested, left, right, and center. These people had no chance against the cops. This man made a comment to a UFC fighter's wife and instantly regretted it. These dudes jumped out their vehicle on a roundabout to try and intimidate the driver behind them. But watch as karma strikes them instantly. Nice. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> These two got into an altercation in an extremely tight spot. It was obviously going to end bad for one of them. Just watch. <laughs> I want to fight in my winter, bro. Look at me, I'm stupid. Look at me. Who would have thought that politicians like to get tough during their meetings? He got a reality check pretty quickly. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your solution every poll? No, no, sit down. Sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Active. Oh, okay, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Shim. it. Hold it. If hold we can. No, I have the mic. Said. I'm sorry. This is hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. This is a hearing. This dude was throwing abuse at the builders, and as they laughed him off, he got all tough and tried to fight them, but got humbled real quick and will definitely never do that again. I was mad, and you still couldn't f me. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming on, isn't he? <laughs> hey, here we go. Get offside. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean, not worth it, mate. Sean. Sean, not worth it, mate. Hey, oh, this is 
<laughs> Sean, stay back, mate. Stay back. Yeah, here's, here's the place. Hey, you need yeah. One on one. What happens to one on one? What happens to one on one? What happens to one on one? How many of you? How many of you? What happens to one on one? Yeah, you fucking bully and cunt. Yeah, you fucking bully and cunt. You couldn't do one on one. 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 How many of you? How fing many of you? Just you bully a little s. Yeah. How many? How many? One on one. What the f was that? How many of you? How fing many of you? <laughs> you. I said one on one. And what the f was that? Get your fing phone away, c. Yeah. Oh, don't f record me, c. What the f are you fing your fing phone down? This stolen valor gets called out by a real veteran. Attention seeking to this level has to be a form of mental illness because pretending to have fought for a country while you didn't is insane. Hey, thanks for your service. Oh, yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Thank you. Yeah. It's too bad about this weather. Oh, I know. Yeah. Do you, have you been to the USO here? I think they have some services for soldiers there. Yeah, I have. I was, okay. I'm trying to stay put. Yeah. I don't want to risk getting bumped. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, you have your computer, you could just Google it, but these are great videos on the internet called uh, Stolen Valor videos, have you seen those? You should Google them because there are these people and they have the most audacity you can imagine. They're wearing the uniform, pretending to be soldiers, you know, looking people in the face, telling them they served. It's just unreal. It's unreal. No, you should look it up though. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, because real veterans can see when people are lying. Right. Yeah. Which, you know, I mean, I see your combat patch there. So. Who are you with? Who, who's that combat patch from? Uh, I, I, uh, that's not a combat patch, actually. That's a unit no, affiliation yeah, yeah, patch. Yeah. Okay. So your combat patch is going to be the one on your right shoulder. Right. Under the American flag. So imagine you probably knew that, though, already. Yeah. So where did you go to college at? Uh, Miami. Miami. So, so you were OCS? Uh, Miami of Ohio. Miami of Ohio. Yeah. So, but you know what OCS is? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that doesn't make any sense then, because you would have been ROTC if you'd gone to Miami of Ohio. Uh, no, I wasn't ROTC. So how did you commission then? What was your commissioning source? You're wearing the, the rank of a commissioned officer in the United States Army, right. right? So people typically know how they got that rank when they wear it, but it doesn't seem like you do. So I'm not going to make a scene. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to tear you apart here in front of all these yeah, people. Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't. Would you like to see my ID? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This dude caught another guy abusing his wife, so he jumped out of the car straight away to go deal with him. Big respects and done exactly what he should have.